Hi, welcome back to the Potato Museum show. We're going to be talking about Dr. John Niederhauser, a really strong supporter of the Potato Museum. Here I am in his place in uh, with him in Tucson. And you can see this, this doll caricature of him holding potatoes. So uh, let's talk about Dr. John Niederhauser, a great guy. We miss him terribly. <clears throat> no brief obituary could possibly do justice to the memory of John Niederhauser, potato scientist, World Food Prize Laureate, 1990, and strong supporter of the Potato Museum. John was 88 when he died in his sleep on August 12, 2005, at his home in Tucson, Arizona. We last saw him a few months earlier, and he was up to his usual hilarious and insightful quips and quirks discussing politics, world hunger, his beloved Mexico, and of course, the potato the vegetable that claimed his attention throughout his long career. There was never a quality shaggy dog story or brief one-liner John did not appreciate. And some, worse, excuse me, worse, remember in full detail. We doubt anyone ever stopped him when he would begin genially. You know the one about the duck and the antifreeze? Please tell me if you've heard this because his storytelling skills were superlative. A tall man who had been a precocious boy in central Washington state and a top student at Cornell, earning his PhD in plant pathology in 1943, he went on to be a Rockefeller funded scientist based in the highlands west of Mexico City. For 30 years, he and his team worked to develop resistant potato varieties that subsistence farmers could grow thus cutting down on expensive fungicides while also reducing their environmental impact. While in Mexico, by the way, he also found time to become the founder and president of Little League Baseball from 1954 to 1969 and the Latin American commissioner from 1957 to 1969. Not only was potato production hugely increased in Mexico, but programs in Turkey, Bangladesh, India, Colombia, and Pakistan were able to boost production four to eight times. John went on to help establish the International Potato Center in Lima, Peru, and several other global agriculture initiatives. John's wife, Ann Faber Niederhauser, with whom he raised six children, was his companion and support in all endeavors. A gifted weaver, not only of rugs and cloth, but also of memorable gatherings of family and friends, and died in 2000. All right, now we have a little bit of John talking about his career. And this is a, was a, um, a, pro, a presentation that my son and his friend did. Uh, Meredith, can you hit that or can you take the camera? Here, I'm going to just hand that to you. Uh, for the world, uh, for the National History Day, they won the New Mexico State Championship. And what was this? I think it was about. Have 2000. you ever heard of the French fry? What about hash browns? Did you know that a disease called late blight almost wiped out the potato completely and is still a threat today? What would people do without the world's most important vegetable? And how could we feed people and still have a clean environment without excessive chemical use? Our frontier pioneer in history is Dr. John Niederhauser, World Food Prize Laureate for 1990. During his 43 years in international agriculture, he has become known throughout the world as Mr. Potato because of his many contributions as a planner, catalyst, mentor, cooperator, and active participant in potato development programs. This is a story that had its beginning in the Irish famine in the 1840s caused a tremendous amount of damage and uh, hunger in uh, particularly in Ireland they did discover a few years later that the problem that had destroyed the potato crop was due to a fungus and this meant a new discovery in international agriculture finding that this fungus was the cause of the disease rather than something that appeared on the foliage and was the result of the disease. Not many people know what late blight is, so what is it exactly? Late blight is actually a fungal disease that attacks the potato plant. 
The first signs of potato blight are brown blotches on the leaf of the potato plant. From the first leaf, it infects all other leaves and continues to the stem. The okay, well, we've done a whole program on late blight, so we're going to stop that video there. But uh, we just wanted you to know about our dear friend John and Ann Niederhauser. And uh, you can, a lot more information about him is online. And uh, we miss him terribly. He was a great friend and a real supporter of the Potato Museum, one of the first important ones. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again. If you like these videos, what can they do, Meredith? Well, they can leave uh, some con some comments. They can support us by subscribing. And they can buy more potatoes, eat more potatoes, <laughs> talk about potatoes, tell people about the Potato Museum show on YouTube. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye.